What's up everyone? Welcome back to Submachine. I'm Obix and today we are moving on to the 8th chapter. If you're wondering why the fuck do I have white lipstick on my upper lip, it's not lipstick, it's cream. My lip got totally ruined. As you know on the previous episode I mentioned that I removed the tooth. Because after that I got sick, so yeah now my lip is all ruined, is all wounded. So I gotta put some cream on it, but it's all fine besides that. I also had a time, some time that I was without a voice, now I'm back. I'm, I'm doing great, so I think it's time to actually finish this off. I want to try to do as much as possible today. I'm, I'll try to do a marathon and finish all the chapters that we have left and get to the end of Submachine because I feel like it's been taking way longer than it should. Also, I gotta mention, when I was editing the previous episodes, I had a fun moment that I was editing the episode well, I, where I played the sixth game, sixth chapter, and I noticed while looking back at the recordings, there were some things that I missed. And I end up going back and finding some new secrets. I actually end up googling uh, if I was missing something and I found an extra secret or two as well. Um, but yeah, let's just get into action and I'll try to pay more attention to what goes around the game. See if I don't miss anything this time around. Transcript 17 out of 38. Liz, you can create dimensional portals while being inside of such a portal. Mortag, yes I can. And when you do, what happens then? You change direction. Direction of what? Of everything. Hmm. The hell? Alright, let's get on with this game. Stone Sphere. Okay. Mortag is coming back. We should go. We should go now. So they are afraid of Mortag. Okay. <clears throat> I remember there are multiple levels of levers like this one. I don't remember what I have to do with them, though. Oh, right. I remember that this, like, I can press these buttons. They'll bring me to different locations. And actually, that's the only thing I can do right now. This game also had such a fun mechanic, because on the previous games, you'd use teleporters to jump to other locations. That's it. You'd jump to other dimensions. But in this one, it's like you're jumping between parallel dimensions. Like here, we have this. I can only climb the ladder once. Here, I'm in the ladder. If I go up and I press the button again, I'm somewhere else. This is really fun. It's such a fun mechanic. Because you gotta be mindful of where you have barriers and where can you move around to go higher or to the sides of those barriers. Like, you gotta traverse in between dimensions to be able to reach new areas. It's really fun. I really like that mechanic. Such a fun touch. And again, it's so funny that I don't remember the games themselves, but I remember these details. I remember the secrets. I remember the puzzles. So you can really tell what marked me most. Which is fun. Here, I couldn't go to the right in the other dimension, but I can in this one. So I'll be able to go inside that ship. That's fun. Finally something in the drawers. I've been waiting... Seven games for this. Every single drawer that I opened so far didn't have shit. Shit. I clearly remember the day it all ended. It was not long ago after a computer processing power exceeded that of a human brain. Many thought that this was the turning point, but not so. The moment came a bit later. I remember because I was there when, I, when we asked the biggest question, the one we've been struggling with for millennia. Why are we? But this time the question wasn't directed at us, we asked the computer. And that was the turning point in the history of humanity. That exact moment. Once we acknowledged that we are not the most evol evolved structure on our planet, once we passed the torch, our purpose diminished. 
Did we expect the computer to fry under the heaviest of questions? Of course. So you can imagine our surprise when it happened. The computer answered the question. And the answer was 42. Oh, I remember this. I gotta find some other place which has like this circle, but like a circle which is cut in a specific corner and I gotta line them. I believe that's it. Oh. Ooh. This is like fringe, dude. This is like a screen that allows you to see parallel dimensions. Gotta put something here. West, north, east. Okay. Yeah, there we go. We're inside the the ship now. We got a cog. Got a coil. Yeah, so this is the other place that we were seeing in that screen, because it's the exact same location on the first dimension. Got a third sphere. Yeah. So this opens a third dimension, right? Yeah, okay. I don't have to find the buttons. I have to turn on the devices. That's what I have to do. Okay. Awesome. I really like this game. It's not the game that I was thinking of. All of those times that I mentioned, oh yeah, it's gonna come the bigger game that we travel to previous locations. It's still not that, because we're just traveling to new places. But I really like this one. I really like this gimmick. Okay. Cube. Cube! For some reason. Where are you? I'm standing right next to you. Can't you see me? No. Let's compare our geotags once more. Something's off. We are at the same location, but... Where are you? Okay, so we got another switch of these. I still don't know what I have to do about those. I believe there's a specific placement that I gotta insert. Yeah, this is what I meant. I gotta rotate this once so that it um, matches this one. Okay. And we got a micro stabilizer, and we can use them in this game. Okay, or so I think. Oh, it's spheres. Okay, wait, I'm missing one. Okay, I guess I gotta insert the spheres in something will happen here. Or... Yeah, there we go. So, dot equal, no, sorry, it's a circle equal dot plus, there you go, fourth dimension, let's go. Dimension. Oh shit, this is the underwater one, right? What is this? A small mirror. Oh, I just realized when I'm in the first dimension, it shows a circle and just lines. This is the second dimension. Oh, I see. So, all those secrets that I found are basically this. They are just hidden places in these dimensions, I guess? Why are they secrets then? What do I have to do about them? I'm very intrigued about that, dude. Okay, and let me come here first. I want to start in the same place everywhere. Huh. But why the boundaries? Why this particular shape? The idea is to give a is to give you a glimpse of the plan, just a glimpse. Seeing it in all its glory would blind your mind. Oh. 
Left, right, right. Oh, I see. I'm missing a disc like though, like that one. Okay. Okay. So I gotta find the third one and then I can insert the combination. I suppose this sound means I remove the water. Which is great. Gotta plug. Can I go left, motherfucker? I can't. Then let me go right. Oh. This is a nice touch, adding this flora here. <clears throat> the flora that you found on the previous game, that's a nice touch. Okay, but here I can't do shit. Neither here. Neither here. Wait, I can't come here in the first dimension. Yeah, exactly, I can't. Imagine, like, it's such a funny thing to imagine. But you are here, minding your business. You decide to travel to another dimension. And you show up. Oh shit, this was not intentional. <laughs> oh, I'm finding shit. Oh, that's cool. But wait. Imagine you were there grabbing onto some letters and then you disappear and you gotta grab onto some new letters immediately, otherwise you fall to your death. Because it's basically what could have happened. But yeah, we got a new switch here as well. Is there a micro stabilizer? I need a hammer. Hammer! So let's insert the fuse. Another dimension. Let's go to the fifth. Pyramid cell. I gotta destroy this statue with a hammer as well. What? Oh, I gotta unlock the other two dimensions to open this portal. That's fun. I never knew a beam of light could bend like that. Oh. Another place to insert micro stabilizers. Okay. So there's five in this game. And these cameras again. There's this, those green circles, there's these cameras. Just what the hell is going on? Dude? I feel like I gotta insert a pyramid on the other side of this. There we go. Okay. Status reflector incomplete. What do you mean? Oh, the mirror. I see. Mm. Sneaky bastard. I actually thought this was gonna be some sort of secret, but no. It's actually the new dimension. Do you see it now? Yes, how is it even possible? They're interlocking perfectly. Who needs God when you have architects like that, right? So, I'm gonna need something here. Oh, this is the beamer, I believe. Okay. I believe I'm gonna need this plug here, right? Yeah, of course. And then this. I'm just, I'm just missing a part. Interesting. I see. I got you, homie. So now I gotta go back to the second dimension, pull, pull the lever there, come back here, pull the fourth, and pull the sixth. I see. Makes sense, because they they all have the same design. It's easy to understand. Um, I'm just intrigued about this. I believe there's a note on the other side, right? So I gotta do this. And then this. Yeah. Okay. If this is south, 
which is to the other side. So it's left, left, right. Yep. Catalyst stone. What the fuck? Let me come back here. Yeah, exactly. Alright, what now? Car battery. We also got the rest of this. Oh, I see. Seventh dimension unlocked. Okay. So now we got all the dimensions. I'm just missing the levers. And I'm missing four secrets, dude. And I don't know what to do with this catalyst stone. A woman came to our village. No one knows exactly how she entered, since the gate was closed at the time. She went straight to the term not translatable, and one minute later a beam of bright light shot from it straight up to the sky. When she disappeared we knew that we were blessed with the presence of a goddess. That was seven for 742 years ago, and we worship her to this day. So Elizabeth showed up to this, to this village. Used the transporter that was already here. And people thought she was a god. Interesting. Yeah, because I believe this is not just related to time, to space travel. I think this is also time travel, right? Another one? Oh shit. <clears throat> oh, I see. Yeah, it's a wheel. Yeah. <clears throat> or a valve, actually. And this is a stone button. The hammer! We got the hammer. Oh shit. <laughs> it replaced the, the placement of the... Teleportation device. Confuse me for a second. What was the point? Interesting. Second micro stabilizer. Okay. Three more to go. Well, third one. Well, let me just um, take care of the levers, actually. Then we'll see. This one is all the way down. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's something else here, right? Yeah, exactly. Micro stabilizer. I'm missing one. Okay. Hope is not lost. I might be able to find all of them on my own. It's in the middle. I don't remember... Where the fuck is the lever? Holy oh, shit. Is it again on the secret down area? Yep. So this is the fifth. It's down. Why can I knock? Is there anything else that I need to break that I haven't noticed? I have no idea. I'm lost. I'm totally lost. I don't know what I have to do. I am missing a secret. I can't progress. I am so lost. What the fuck? The only item that I have right now is a hammer. I really think I'm missing something to break. But I've hovered over everything that the game has to show me. 
And yet... Could this interact with something? Have I not inserted everything? Every lever? I have not, have I? Yeah, this one is down. Yeah, the 6th is up. I confused the 6th and the 7th. I believe it's done now. But it doesn't open. I believe I need like some karma circle or something to insert there, but why haven't I... Why? Motherfucker. I was just about to say, please don't beat the end of the game. Alright, now that I managed to take the screenshots for the thumbnail and so on, I'm gonna try to search for the secret. I'm sorry for being that guy, but I'm gonna Google it. I can't keep searching for it like this. It, I'm just one secret away. I'm certain that I would find it eventually. But it's very frustrating that I keep going back and forth and I can't find it. So the stabilizer location is in layer 1, move the yellow beam to its original location. Fuck. Fuck! I knew it! I did mention, like, I'm gonna play the track back. Could this interact with something? The fact that I can move this layer over, I was like, what if there's something else to interact in another layer? In another dimension? And there is. Motherfucker! It was as simple as that. Cause I... Like, it was so obvious. Both of the things had the same color scheme. It should be obvious that if it was gonna connect with something, it was gonna be here. I should have come here immediately. The thought came through my mind that the lever could interact with something. But I didn't think of the most obvious place that it could interact with. Well, let's just see what awaits us. Is this in the seventh dimension? Interesting. Oh shit, wait, wait. Before we get into the spicy stuff. What is this? Why does the sociopath only talk to Elizabeth? Your question is wrongly put. You wanted to ask. Why doesn't he talk to us? The answer is simple. He doesn't see us. Does that make him sociopath? Not necessarily. But that, that does mean he's focused. Have you ever been to the place called The Loop? Yes, of course. See, this knot is just like The Loop. Well, maybe not exactly, but it serves the same purpose. In that case, what is so important in layer 5? Hmm. If there's one thing that I regret, it's the fact that of all people I sent to the edge, no one ever came back. Not a single soul. That will haunt me for the rest of my life. I know. But that's impossible. He can't be in different dimensions at the same time. Impossible. What does that even mean? Doesn't he understand that his karma portals are shattering this dimension? This dimension? You mean the third one? You know that's not even the original dimension, right? What do you think is more important, the original or a flawed copy? Hmm. Okay, so this brought me to a new area with lore. What is this? Monolith 11th. Location path link. Monolith 11? What do you mean? What is this? What does this connect to? Oh shit, I'm so curious, dude. Also, by the way, I'm in a new place. I gotta check every dimension now. Oh, I'm just here. What the fuck? So it just brings me to a random square in the upper areas, okay. I see. But I found a monolith though. Oh, there's a letter here. Oh, I can't use it. That's interesting. I am very intrigued. I'm very happy that I 
concluded the game after being stupid for so long. And I'm very frustrated that I had to find the last secret out of stupidity with a Google search. Alright everyone, that's it for this game. I'm gonna move on immediately to the next chapter. So if you want, stay tuned and just watch the next episode which will come out soon. Take care.